Whoa! If you want to see us get a tractor out of the river today, I'd say today's a good day to be uh, hanging out for one of our videos. It's a John Deere tractor, kind of like that one, <laughs> except it doesn't have the bucket or the uh, little mower on the back. Yes, we speak. Where we have to get to today is we have the tractor, which is right there on the other side. People are gonna have a lot of questions as to this, like how do we know that this tractor was in here? And we're gonna answer those questions for you, but guess what else we have? I didn't tell you what we have coming today to help us pull it out. What? Way off in the distance there, look at that great big 70 ton excavator. We got an excavator coming today to push it up and over. One SUV, one tractor. One John Deere tractor. We're gonna show you what they are. Oh, what's up? Um. Check, check, check. All right, I got audio mark. Game plan, let me have one of those blue straps. Yeah, so you're gonna just go around the axle, the vehicle, the SUV is laying upside down. Front is that direction. You take this uh, wheel axle side. I'll take that axle wheel side. Hey, Jared. Yes, sir. When he starts pulling out on top of this thing, you yep. guys need to stay as clear as possible. Yeah, 100%, we'll be uh, down and away from it. All right. That was a lot murkier than it was last time. Yep, there we go. I found it. So, uh, this is fine now that. I finally caught with the trailblazer. Ah, oh, it's so murky in down here. Oh. You're gonna have to believe me that it's a trailblazer. That's okay. That one's on there. Well, right now I'm actually standing on it. This is an eight foot step. You can see that it's only about four feet underwater, upside down. So right now, Kristen, I'm standing on it. You are? I'm standing on the uh, rear tire. So it's about four feet underwater here. Mark's gonna hook the other uh, axle up, and then we'll hook both of these to the tow strap. Yeah, we're out of the way, go ahead. Okay. This is scary to me. Can you think of a better way to spend a Saturday morning, Mark? You no, know, I really can't. I was just thinking about that. <laughs> there it is. Look at that. <laughs> it rises from the deep. <laughs> Did it move at all? Oh yeah, it's on this side of the bank now. Oh, okay. Touching the tractor. I want to take that thing home. All right, Jared, here we go. All right, we're out of the way and ready. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's a beautiful sight. That is. Oh, the hood's gonna come off, Mark. Go, baby, go. Come on. Halfway up. Keep going. <laughs> Jared, that's their new route in the water now. Seeing all the blackberry bushes off. Yeah. Woo. That's up, Mark.
That way we don't have to sneak underneath it. Get it later. I'm thinking we should go down through this way. Yeah, Here yeah. come the blues. Perfect. All right. Check, check. All right, we're ready for the uh, tractor, Mark. Oh, you got the uh, blue straps? I got the blue straps. Let me grab the uh, red one here. Um, did they hook all these back up? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. So, I'll follow you over. I'll just kind of put this on the uh, other bank. Rear tire facing towards the shore is the one we want to attach to for the axle to flip it. But we actually want to hook both of them up so we already have them hooked. So once it flips, then we'll hook that second one to this. All right, there's the tractor. There's the front of it. I think the front wheel, the axle is busted. See how there's two of them here? For the front tires? All banged up. Oh, we identified it. Yep, yep. See, it's John Deere. Hello, John Deere. You're looking mighty fine today. We're going to flip it from the other tire over here. Oh, it's a can. There's a lot of trees here. There's the rear tire. Everything's quite still right now. Completely lost all visibility. Come on. Yeah, I got one side hooked up. Let's uh, hook that to the uh, blue strap here. You know, so it was Tatum that uh, identified that it was in here. He used to actually live across the road. Yeah, I remember that. Tatum's not here today. <laughs> he knew the uh, police were coming. <laughs> Seems a little suspicious to me, Tatum. <laughs> no, actually, uh, we're missing Tatum today. He's actually uh, on a uh, family uh, little emergency today, so. Yeah. Tatum, wish you were here. Hope your wife's doing okay. I think he ran into the tree. Yeah, our big thing is we just, woo, we just lost a tire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, front tire just came off. Yeah, you want to shorten up his strap? Huh? Yeah, tire came off. The front axle is broken. They're going to connect both straps, and you're just going to pull and see if it self writes. If it does, up she comes. If it doesn't, we'll have to figure it out. That's just the tire. Nothing attached to it. Yeah, that's the uh, front the one. Tire. Uh, you want me to just do like I did last time, kind of try and... Pull that way as much as I can before I start walking back. Pull it up, yeah, that way, and then we'll come up to the top of the hill. What? Start up. What is that? Oh, that's the back of it. That's like a uh, sprayer or something, isn't it? Oh, it's going upside down. Oh, that's going to destroy it. Hold up! Whoa, 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 whoa! Woo, woo! Yeah, so, yeah, so undo that strap and have them come uh, down to that first one and swing it over. Dan, how far can your bucket reach down there? Are we able to uh, just hook on to those uh, blue ones down here? Oh... Uh... See, the so thing is, we can't get too close to the edge because it's super soft up here. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about 15 foot back even. Okay. Um, I can get a little closer and we can see how far down I can get. 
an AR-100 pump on it. Yeah, we need to get around that tree. That could be tree. good, yet. All right, well, I say let's one more pull and see if we can't get her straightened up. There is a ticket right there, I should do it. Yeah, if he can swing, oh yeah, he's swinging. There we go. Slide, baby. Slide, don't pivot right around that tree. Yeah. Come on. Oh. That's look looking at, good. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Man, look at that. Come on, baby. Yeah, go, go, go. my tank right there. Whoa. You were so close too. It was right there. Right there. <laughs> yeah, we saw it. Yeah. You know, that makes for some great content. Wow. I got that entire thing on camera. Right no. Yeah. You scared the that shit. <laughs> oh, 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 I can't stop shaking. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh, look how close it got to my uh, ass. Yeah, too. I know. It really was right there. Yeah. It came right on top of your tank. Oh, yeah. It nope. just goes to show you, <laughs> one yard from a field goal, you're not in until you're in. <laughs> Let's get rid of this one all together. Both blue it is. Both the blue ones ripped? Yeah, it's torn right apart. I don't know if I trust this one. No, it's done. We'll put it off to the side. Okay, so. We're gonna need to toss this down there. What do you think about that, hun? I'm still shaking. Oh, we was fine. We were we we stayed at a safe distance. One strap will lift that thing. Yeah. That, there's no way that thing weighs thirty thousand pounds. Oh no, yeah. no. Yeah, yeah. So, that just one of those straps will lift it, but. Okay. What do you want to? Straight up. What do they want? Okay. <laughs> You know, this is kind of a learn as as you go. Yeah. And we, we every time we do one of these, we learn something new. Okay, we're gonna watch your tracks. And up above. Alright. Yeah, there it goes. Look at that. You gonna try to climb up this with a gear on? Yeah. No? <laughs> no. All right, so this strap is not good anymore. Uh, the braking strength is still 10,000 pounds, but normally there's a center rivet, and at the center rivet, half of this can be broke, you still have that 10,000 pound working load limit. But if it doesn't have it, it's no good. So that one's toast. That one's but we still have one good one. One so good one. one. Two good ones. Okay. Well, that end time he goes down, he could angle way down there and be, I think, halfway down. <coughs> I've got the strap right there. I'm trying to feed the strap so I can get it back here. <sighs> good news. You got it? Yep. What's he trying to do? Hook it on a tooth or? Yeah, right here. Here, Brandon, you switch. Hold on. All right. Okay, we're gonna pull. All right, out of the way. Clear. 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 Yeah, I think they have close to a thousand pounds of water in that tank. Well, oh, hey, hold up. Let me uh, see if this valve will open. Oh. It is what it is. Oh, 
But well, we still I, have these straps. They're, no, we can no, tie them off. They're broke. They're all, all cut. Most of, these are, most of these are broke. Okay. They're, they're too weak. Or, So the scoop the bucket down, down. You wrap it to the tooth and then scoop. You scoop the bucket. Okay. Does that make sense? Alright. Everyone clear? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Alright, go for it. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Last step. Alright, so uh, stop. Don't have him pull it out of the water. Have him start dragging it closer to the shore. So have him back up. I feel like we've been here before, Mark. Yeah. Rotate your bucket in. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, he's good, he's good still. No. Rotate your what do you see, Brandon? It's the that you hear it, yeah. Okay, now. Take whatever slack you need out of that. I one. told him this wasn't gonna be easy. They wrap, just take it and wrap it around your uh, a tooth. His hands are cold. He's almost dead. He's going up. Yeah, he's going up. <coughs> see, see, look, see how white he is. <laughs> he has no color. Go ahead. Why are you late today, Tatum? Because I have three kids. All right. And they're locked we, in the truck. We thought it was because you actually knew uh, why this tractor was in the water here. No, that's not the one I know. Uh -huh. This was my fear when you guys coming down this far. Come <laughs> and get yourselves up. I mean, worst case, just drop your equipment. Right, right and push his tank. He's good. You got it. Well, what, what we really have to have is we have to have equal tension on both straps. Yeah. Yep. Got it. Is everybody clear down below? Yeah. 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 Ready? Yeah. Close. Close. Close the bucket. Close the bucket. Okay. Hold up. Tap with Hold the. Up. Don't go up, I just go back, dude. I don't know. You gotta lift that back end up. Oh. That back end has to come up. I should have life insurance. Yeah. Oh, keep going. You're all free. Yeah. Yeah. That's it right there. You're not going anywhere this time. <laughs> I don't think it's been in there that long. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, that's beautiful. Greg! Is this your tractor? No, not mine. So tell, so, so tell us about this tractor. Like, What kind of a tractor is it? It was used for spraying. Oh, it's a utility model. Okay. It's for uh, like orchards. It's a low profile one for orchards. How old do you think it is? How long do you think it's been in the water? Well, it's been in the water for a few years. Have you known about it? No, I haven't known about it at all. All right. But with the rust and stuff, it's just been in there a while, but not, you know. Do you think you can get it running? Could I, yes. Really? Oh. So if we leave it with you? I, I can probably get it going, yeah. <laughs> How much is it worth? I really don't know. I'd, I'd have to see, like the front axle, I think this came off it. I think so too. Yeah, it didn't look like it was brick. It didn't look Busted. like it don't look like it's broke. All you gotta do is lift it up, bolt it back on. You could probably it wouldn't take that much. I mean you like, have to clean it all out, dry it out, but like dollar I mean, do any dollars have to be put into it other than just oh, some uh, well, you'd have to put some in it. I mean it wouldn't be a real real lot. Five hundred, three hundred, a thousand? A thousand. 
thousand bucks to get this thing running again. Well, if I could turn the engine over. Okay. That, that's the whole that's the key. key to it. If I, if you could turn it over, uh -huh. I wouldn't be afraid. Okay. So what we have to do first is we actually have to call the uh, the local PD. We actually already have a case number, Tatum. With that, we have to find out where the VIN number is. You know where the VIN numbers are on these? Well, there would be a tag up here on the frame, but this so, one here could be gone. So we have to identify if there's actually a VIN number on it. If there is, then uh, we have to see if it's stolen or not. If it's not stolen, then we can actually take possession of it. I mean, it's stolen. Something, something happened to it. But, uh, I think here's your VIN number. Yeah, so we'll call the local PD right now. See if we get to keep this tractor. If uh, Greg here can actually get it running again, will it start? We're gonna find out if we get to keep it. Here's your VIN numbers. And there's a tractor and what was the other vehicle? The other one is a uh, Trailblazer uh, SUV. Oh, it's a Chevy S10 Trailblazer. <laughs> yeah, Chevy S10 Blazer. One plate. Oh, it has a plate? But no tag. No tag. While we're waiting for them, let's do a uh, quick little uh, walk around. This thing. You guys can do a nice little walk around of this. So people tend to, I get comments all the time and say, say, hey, Jared, we'd like it if you did more of a walk around. So while we're waiting for the PD, let's uh, kind of show you what we got on these. Tatum, you got any explanation for us? Might That's... need a detail. Okay, perfect. Key in the ignition on this one? It is. Well, the Jag. Does it work? No, it's gummed up. Alright. Sure, do you want me to get the mileage? Yeah, do you have mileage? Thank you for your patience. Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Okay, uh, did you say the Trailblazer had one plate? Yes, the Trailblazer has a plate. Is a uh, Victor. I, I'm not good at this, so I'm going to go Victor Dog uh, George 823. And what was your last name again? Lysik, L E I S E K. Did you say Jared was your first name? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. I'll pass along the information for a deputy to come check him out, okay? Really weird. We just got off the phone with the sheriff's deputy about the tractor as well as the SUV. The SUV doesn't come back stolen and neither does the tractor. They are missing two Kubotas as well as a uh, New Holland tractor, but for, for some reason, they're not missing this John Deere tractor. They also did not want to come out. They don't want to take possession of it. They're pretty much they don't want to put their finances and or they don't want to do paperwork on this either. As a result, we're gonna store it for the next 30 days. From there, we're going to file a lien against it, do a lost title, and take possession of the tractor. We've got a case number, they know where this tractor's at. If anything happens in the next three or four weeks, great, they can come get it. In the end, that means it's good news for me. I get to keep a new tractor, Greg's gonna help me restore it. So stay tuned for more updates on the tractor. Back to the show, let's show you what else we got. As far as the wheels, uh, yep, they're about yay big. Model number is 2240. I don't know about the uh, engine type or anything that it has to do. But uh, like I said, I think we might end up doing a Will It Run episode on this one. So if you want to see us actually attempt that, smash the thumbs up, give us a like, and say, Jared, we want to see you get this tractor running again. Well, fingers crossed, we actually get to keep it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the uh, problem with all this though, Mark, I bought all these straps just for this little project. I'm out some money now. <laughs> I, we broke every single one of my straps. Yeah, I don't, I don't doubt it so, one bit. We have put, to buy. Those, put those straps to the test today. So if uh, you happen to own a strap company and you want to sponsor what we're doing, you got to hit me up because we, we need some new straps now. done this without an entire volunteer crew. That's right. Everybody here is a volunteer. We've got Elite Towing that's out here again. They, in fact, they're like an hour and a half out of their jurisdiction. YouTube code, use that down below to get 10% off. Could not be doing this without them. We couldn't do this without here. Look, we couldn't do this without Tatum, who actually put the tractor in the uh, <laughs> river here, right? Tatum used to live across the way, so he knew all about this tractor. I don't know, seems a little fishy to me. We got Mark the Divers, we've got Dan, who's an excavator operator. We've got Jace, uh, James, who's been with us uh, on many of our little adventures, as well as, look at that, Tatum's kids are back there in support of it. We got a few other bystanders, we got the farmers, and you know, Kristen, of course, could not be doing it without any of them. I think we covered everybody, guys. 
That wraps up another episode. So if you've not already subscribed, be sure to do so right now. Turn on that little bell notification. That way you get an instant notice anytime we do something wild and crazy like this. Down. Do, 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 do.